So the question on everybody's mind is, where does inflation go from here? Well, it really comes down to one thing, supply chains. Remember that whole thing about impaired supply chains? Well, that was really a pandemic problem. Over the last couple of years, consumer demand has mostly been focused on tangible goods, things like TVs and autos, because you couldn't go out and do things like travel, dine, or go to sporting events. As a result, the prices on a lot of consumer goods skyrocketed as that demand greatly outpaced supply. Well, the end of the pandemic changed all that. Now, consumer demand is mostly focused on experiential things like going to concerts, sports games, and traveling, which means that all that consumer demand in the pandemic has shifted elsewhere. And as a result, it's impacting prices across a lot of consumer goods. For instance, if you've been to a big box store recently, a lot of the prices on major appliances like laundry equipment and dishwashers are starting to decline. And in some cases, prices today are lower than they were 12 months ago. So we feel that it's reasonable to assume that inflation is going to continue to moderate on a lot of these prices or a lot of these consumer goods items as consumer demand shifts from goods over to the service side of the, the economy. So in light of our outlook that inflation is going to continue to moderate, we do think that sets up a very nice environment for longer duration fixed income. And it's reasonable to assume that Fed policy is going to pivot where over the past nine months or so, the Fed has basically been fighting inflation or trying to fight inflation with a bazooka approach. But it's reasonable to assume that that's going to pivot over 2023 and as a result, we've been extending duration across portfolios to take advantage of higher yields for clients because at some point, the Fed is going to soften its language and investors are going to be more concerned about rate decreases as opposed to rate increases moving forward. Therefore, instead of taking a very short duration approach where you have to roll those proceeds every one to two years, potentially into a decreasing interest rate environment, we think it's prudent to take more of a longer term approach and allocate to longer duration fixed income over the next three to six months.